Hello friends, uh, most welcome to English Advantage online classes. Uh, friends, in this video, uh, we will discuss Hindu editorial analysis and vocabulary along with most important sporting error questions. So, this video tutorial will be in English language and if you want to watch the Hindi version of the same video, you can definitely watch it on the same channel called English Advantage YouTube channel. So, this is the article I have taken from the 6th May 2017, the Hindu newspaper of uh, daily version and this article has been taken from page 1 of the Hindu newspaper. So, this is uh, part 20th of this video series and uh, this video series will definitely help you uh, succeed in different competitive exams like SSC CGL, like SBI PO, SBI clerk, IBPS and uh, different other uh, management and insurance exams. So, let us get started uh, with this video tutorial. Now, before I proceed further, I would like to make a, a humble request uh, to you. If you want to make your contribution for the betterment of this channel called English Advantage YouTube channel, uh, you can make your contributions to this uh, bank account. I have given all the details here and uh, I have also given Paytm e-wallet number. Uh, uh, you can make your contribution, whatever contribution you want to make willingly and happily uh, for the betterment of this channel. Please go ahead and make your contribution to this bank account. Thank you very much. Now, let us uh, get started with this video tutorial. Uh, this is the article I have taken uh, from the 6th May uh, 2017 from page 1 and this is very relevant uh, for the descriptive English, uh, for the interview point of view and for all competitive exam. Uh, this is also important for UPSC exam, UPSC exam and PCS exam also. Now, this is regarding the Nirbhaya case, SC upholds death in Nirbhaya, Nirbhaya case if at all there is a case warranting a vote of a death sentence, it is the present case, says judge. So, judge has given the death penalty, death sentence to all the convicts of the Nirbhaya murder case. You must be knowing about this, uh, this very popular and uh, very uh, heart-wrenching case uh, that took place in Delhi. Now, let me go through from here. The accused found an object for enjoyment in her. This is what the judge said uh, in, his, uh, in his verdict. For their gross, sadistic and beastly pleasures. Now just see how, how strong the word uh, the judge has used. Gross means completely very obvious and very unacceptable. Something, is, uh, something that is uh, very unacceptable and very obvious is called gross. Sadistic means very brutal and very aggressive. Beastly means animal like. Okay. So, this is what uh, the bench has said regarding the convicts. For the devilish manner in which they played with her dignity and identity is humanly inconceivable. The crime that they, that they have committed is humanly inconceivable. Uh, this is the extent uh, and uh, this is the brutality. This is the extent of brutality of the crime. Okay. These were the final words with which Justice Deepak Mishra concluded the pronouncement of the Supreme Court judgment. So, these are the final wordings and uh, you can use these word wordings in, uh, in any composition, in essay, essay, letter, you can definitely use in, uh, in interview also, uh, this thing could be quite useful. Confirming the death penalty to four convicts in the Nirbhaya gang rape and murder case, uh, which shook the entire nation. Definitely, it shook the entire nation with its brutality and spurred the genesis of a stringent anti-rape law. Okay, so it definitely spurred the genesis. It spurred the beginning or origin of a very, uh, uh, very stringent anti-rape law. Claps in courtroom, uh, claps resounded uh, through the courtroom uh, from the visitors gallery when Justice Mishra uh, flanked by. Okay, he was uh, standing over there, uh, he was uh, very near to him, flanked by him. Justice R. Banubhati and Ashok uh, Bhushan read out the path upholding the Delhi High Court's verdict to the 23 year old paramedical student's attacker to the gallows. Gallows is something, gallows is a structure on which uh, the criminals are hanged. Okay, so it was, uh, this was the paramedical student of 23 year old and she was molested, she was uh, raped and murdered in New Delhi. So, definitely it was a very, very horrible crime done by these four youths. Justice Bhanumati, uh, the woman judge on the bench said, there is not even a hint of hesitation 
in my mind so she said uh, correctly in sending the men to their deaths if at all there is a case warranting award of death sentence it is the present case uh, this is what she said she shared that if there is any case that is justifying that is correctly justifying award of a death sentence this is the case or this is the correct case it is the present case justice bhanumati wrote in her separate concurring judgment concurring judgment means uh, the same kind of judgment the same coinciding uh, judgment the pronouncement on friday culminated uh, culminated means ended uh, the marathon hearing held in the apex court apex court means the highest court that is the supreme court for about a year after the four accused mukesh pavan gupta akshay kumar singh and binay sharma these are the four convicts appealed against the death penalty they appealed against the death penalty they said that uh, uh, their death penalty should be changed into the lifetime imprisonment because they have kids and they have aged parents but uh, let us see what the court said at one point its own uh, amicus curiae and senior advocate sanjay hagle amicus curiae means the person who is very impartial and very objective in his in his approach okay amicus curiae very important word latin word and senior advocate uh, sanjay hagle had after a dispassionate consideration dispassionate means the person who is not influenced by strong emotions okay dispassionate consideration of the case suggested that the death penalty would be extremely harsh it would be ex extremely severe this is what the the defense people said the defense lawyer had pressed for life imprisonment okay that the defense lawyer said that this would be given the uh, the life imprisonment instead of the death penalty because death penalty they considered too harsh or too severe they said the accused were first time offenders this is what they said uh, in defending uh, these uh, culprits young had small children and aged parents whose life would be rendered uh, calamitous definitely uh their parents life would be very terrible uh, without their support uh, but uh, the court did not listen to them if they were put to death the accused had reformed repented and uh, never misbehaved in jail so this is what they said uh, these are the appeal these are the arguments uh, they gave in support of these culprits but the court threw out the plea for mercy and instead listed out the brutal barbaric nature of the crime they said the court said that, that the crime that they have committed is brutal is barbaric is sadistic and is very very inhumanly okay which made it rarest of the rare they have the court has called this case the rarest of the rare for one justice banumati pointed out how the accused had used a public transport bus to lure the passengers okay this is also the mistake that they committed they used the public transport system to attack the passengers the court agreed with the delhi police council delhi police advocate and senior advocate siddharth luthra uh, that anything short of death penalty would be a devastation of social trust definitely if you give them any any uh, any uh, sentence that is less than death death uh, sentence it will definitely uh, break the social trust of indian citizens it will devastate the social trust okay they trust the indian police system indian judicial system but if they are not given uh, the suitable or befitting sentence definitely it will uh, uh, devastate uh, social trust the court acknowledged mr luthra's submission that the depravity of the crime depravity of the crime means uh, the uh, depravity means uh, moral corruption okay depravity of the crime invites indignation indignation means resentment or annoyance or anger indignance of the society and created a fear psychosis definitely uh, by this crime a uh, fear psychosis was created in the whole country and definitely it was a very horrid and horrible crime this case was indeed rarest of the rare considering uh, the brutal and diabolic nature of the crime to the accused the court uh, read out the entire medical history of the victim the shattering of the intestine caused by the repeated insertion of the iron rod just see how 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 horrible the crime was uh, her intestine was shattered uh, because of the repeated insertion of the iron rods the tearing of her clothes looting of her personal belongings aggravated the sexual assault just see how 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 horrible uh, the attack was the court said uh, that uh, 
and this was followed by the fact that the victim and her companion were thrown out naked in the cold winter just see the condition just see uh, the uh, the brutality of this crime as they lay on the road uh, as they lay on the road means the victim we are talking about the victims as they lay on the road the convicts tried to silence them by running the bus over them okay so this is also a kind of crime it added to the crime okay they had uh, they had them tried to destroy evidence extreme brutality where a crime is committed with extreme brutality and the collective conscience of the society is shocked definitely collective conscience of the society is shocked by this brutal incident court must award death penalty by not imposing a death sentence the court uh, may do injustice to the society at large definitely it will be uh, injustice to the society and societies the social uh, the uh, the collective conscience and the uh, and the trust of the people will be broken just as bhanumati observed this sound like a story from a different world uh, where human humanity has been treated with irreverence irreverence means with disrespect justice mishra wrote spelling out each of the arguments raised in the appeal hearing spelling out means uh, telling everything in good detail the supreme court gave primary emphasis to the victims multiple dying declaration the last and third one in gesture the judgment said that the dying declaration proved beyond doubt that uh, the guilt of the accused definitely the guilt of the accused was very high and they should be given the death penalty sc uphold death in nirbhaya case if at all there is a case warranting award of death sentence it is a present case says judge so the supreme court has uh, definitely given them a befitting reply and a befitting sentence in the form of death penalty now these are the vocabulary words uh, we would be revising here these are very important words for all competitive exam uh, like banking exam like ssc exam and different other management exam uphold is a very popular word very uh, uh, it has come uh, in multiple exams uphold means something uh, something to sustain something uh, to maintain or uh, one more word i have included here is spouse okay spouse also means uphold or support and uh, whatever i have given in bracket this is antonym so oppose is the antonym of uphold okay now let us see the second word warrant warrant means to justify to demand to affirm or to necessitate now sadistic if something is sadistic it's very aggressive it's very brutal it's very vicious and it's very cruel so and the opposite of this word will be friendly and peaceful sadistic means aggressive brutal and vicious very important word and beastly beast uh, we call an animal okay if something is beastly it's like it's like animal or animal like behavior is called beastly or uh, synonym for this word are horrid horrible and nasty okay beastly means horrid horrible and nasty and in offensive is the antonym of this word devilish means devil like wicked and uh, very important words for ssc i have taken here nefarious means devilish vile devilish abominable okay so these words are very important wicked nefarious vile and abominable and uh, antonym of this word are angelic like angel and god like so these are the antonym of this word devilish okay now inconceivable means unimaginable inconceivable means something that you can't imagine okay is per a thing that prompts or encourages someone for doing something or you can say an an incentive okay and what is genesis genesis is origin or beginning of something and the opposite of this word will be conclusion okay so very important word uh, i have included here and flanked means be on each or on one side of flanked by okay this word is followed by by the three defendant stood in the dock flanked by police officers so very good sentence flagged means standing beside okay now these are the synonyms edge bound line and be situated along okay 
so flanked by depravity depravity means a uh, moral corruption or wickedness this is a tale of depravity hard to credit so very important sentence indignation means anger or annoyance provoked by what is perceived as unfair treatment okay uh, this is the sentence the letter filled maya with indignation very suitable sentence and these are the synonym for this word resentment umbrage affront and disgrunt four important word i have included resentment umbrage affront and disgrunt okay now what do you mean by diabolic diabolic characteristic of the devil or so evil as to recall the devil okay so this is also a extremely negative word diabolic devilish fiendish or satanic satanic is an important word fiend and so is fiendish fiendish and satanic both are very very important words uh, for examination point of view flanked depravity indignation and diabolic <coughs> Now let us see the spotting error questions. Uh, these very questions I have picked up only from this article. You have to figure out the grammatical mistake in any part of this sentence, and whatever is the mistake, uh, that is your answer. That part is your answer. Okay. Now in this question, uh, please go through this question. The three judges bench subjected to evidence of the case uh, to the minute minutest scrutiny. Now in this sentence, this is a compound nine noun implied. by this hyphen okay and in these kind of compound noun we do not use this word uh, like judge in the plural we have to use this word only in the singular so we would say three judge bench because hyphen is there and hyphen makes it a compound noun so this word will be used in a singular so here your answer will be a now another four questions other four questions Justice Bhanumati pointed out how the accused used a public transport bus to lure the passengers. What is the mistake in this sentence? Very good sentence, very tricky sentence. And uh, let me uh, give you an idea regarding uh, the error in this sentence. Uh, Justice Bhanumati pointed out, okay, but before uh, she pointed out, some incident took place. Some incident had been took place, okay. so this incident was already completed before she pointed out so this is the case of past perfect tense and to imply the past perfect tense you have to insert had here okay how the accused had used a public transport bus to lure the passengers okay now let us see the next next question the court said this was followed by the fact that the victim and her companion uh was thrown out naked in the cold winter winter night what is the error in this sentence in this sentence we are talking about the two person the victim and her companion so this makes it a, this makes it a plural noun and to imply the plural plurality here you have to use here were okay so in place of was you have to use were and your answer will be c This case was indeed rarest of rare considered uh, the brutal and diabolic nature of the crime. So here we would say this case was indeed rarest of rare. Uh, this case was indeed rarest of rare when we considered the brutality and diabolic nature of the crime. So when we considered, okay, or you can say considering the brutal and diabolic nature of the crime. so we will definitely use the present participle form of the consider that is considering okay if considering means if we consider okay so that is why we would use considering here so this case was indeed rarest of rare considering if we consider the brutal and diabolic nature of the crime so in place of considered you have to use considering if 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 we look this thing into account so this is what the sentence mean and here your answer will be c okay as they lie on the road uh, the convicts tried to silence them uh, by running the bus over them so in this sentence we are talking about the past tense okay the convict tried to silence it means it is the past tense and to convey the past meaning uh, we have to use the past form of the verb that is uh, in place of lie we have to use lay 
as they lay on the road the convicts tried to silence them by running the bus over them so here your answer will be a okay so these are my whatsapp and my contact details whatsapp number is given here and this is english advantage group kindly join it on facebook to get all the notifications and my email id is given here uh, you can contact me regarding any query and if you want to buy the online mock test series you have to visit test.englishadvantage.in from there you can buy the online mock test series so how did you like uh, this video tutorial uh, if you have like it use uh, found it useful kindly like it share it with your friend do send me your final comments and feedback and if you're the first timer on this channel uh, first time visiting this channel kindly do subscribe kindly do join us to get all the notifications so thank you very much uh, for watching this video and i wish you all the best for your bright future thank you